you have no idea what you are capable of until you try. So, welcome to the video session of MahindraGuru.com. The topic today we have is the transport layer. Yes, yesterday we discussed on the topic transport layer. Today we have the protocols that are associated with the transport layer. Now, again a question. The question is name the number on which transport layer is located. Yes, the answer is the first one is physical, the second one is yes data link, the third one is network and then after we have we have the transport layer. So, is it okay with us? Let's have the figure view. The first one we have is the physical one, the second one data link, network, transport, session, presentation and application. The fact here to be remembered is we have to follow the bottom top approach. First, second, third and so on. Okay, moving on to the next uh, uh, slide that we have. Now, let's see where actually the uh, transport layer is located. The transport layer is actually located below the session layer or above the network layer or we can say in between the session as well as the network layer. Let us begin with the protocols that are associated with the transport layer. Let's have a look. The protocols that are associated with the transport layer are the transport layer, the fourth layer of OSI model is provided with some most important protocols of OSI suit. This is a point to be remembered. Some of them are listed below. Some of them are TCP IP, the very important protocol. TCP and IP. Why is this IP considered here? Why is this IP written here? The reason behind will be told only. Transmission control protocol. The protocol serves as one of the most important protocol of transport layer. The TCP works along with the internet protocol. The features of TCP are, now did you, go, uh, did you get the answer why this, this IP is written on there? Actually TCP IP is a network framework of four layers but whenever we demonstrate anything about TCP we should mention out there IP2. Reason behind? Reason is that TCP works along with the internet protocol or we can say that TCP works over the internet protocol. Now, let us see what all services are provided by the TCP. Now, the first service provided by TCP is connection oriented service. Now, what is connection oriented service? Actually, TCP before sending data provides a connection between the source and destination. It establishes a connection between source as well as the destination. Now, because it establishes a connection between source and the destination, this is the reason that it is reliable too. Now, when here uh, when we talk about reliability, one thing that should be mentioned is error check delivery of data. Now, what is error check delivery of data? The error check hereby ensures that the digital data is delivered with accurate and exact values that it was transmitted with. Now, the error check hereby ensures the exact and correct delivery of data on the destination. Now, what all services uses the TCP protocol? Let's have a look. The email service, the file transfer, the world wide web are some of the services that makes use of TCP. Now, these services should be noted down. These are the services that make the most of, of the TCP used. Now, let's see what we have next. UDP, user datagram protocol, is a protocol operating on the layer 4, as we know, of OSI. It provides services opposite to the services of TCP. Why? Let, uh, let's see. Now, why is it so? Why is it written out here that it provides services opposite to the TCP? The reason behind is that TCP is a connection oriented service and hereby UDP is our connection less service. This is a point that should be noted down that UDP is our connection less service. So, very important point. Now, because it is a connection less service, that is the reason it is non-reliable by nature and because it does not demonstrate any connection with the source and the destination this is the reason that it is speedy or it is quicker than compared to the TCP protocol. Now, moving on to the final protocol that we have DCCP datagram congestion control protocol. Some way you must have seen that it is written datagram and some way you must have seen it is written out data. Now nothing to be confused about. What DCCP does usually works with application where on time delivery of data is must. Where on time delivery is must. Time delivery of what? Time delivery of datagram and data is must. T 
these applications applications those require the on time delivery of data make use of dccp datagram congestion control protocol the important protocol of layer 4 the transport layer okay let's have a q and a round the first question that we have is connection oriented service is provided by which of the protocol now the connection oriented service is provided by which of the protocol yes it lies it works on the it operates on the transport layer now the answer is yes the answer is transmission control protocol or the tcp now the second question that we have here is name the layer that operates above the network layer now count on your fingers the physical layer then after we have the data link layer then after we have the network layer and finally what we have we have the transport layer the transport layer operates above the network layer so the next digi page will be on the topic session layer and thanks for joining us in this video we hope that this video will help you out in your examinations and will also answer your questions that queries arises in your mind now do subscribe on mahindraguru.com and join us on and subscribe, uh, subscribe us on www.youtube.com forward slash c forward slash mahindraguru videos thank you all your success is our success